So after stepping up to a Panasonic GH5 and finding out that my standard SanDisk Ultra micro SD cards with the adapters aren't fast enough to record at 400 megabits per second, I decided to go ahead and take the plunge and grab some of these cards. Now it's important that they need to be at least V60 or faster and they are UHS-2 compliant. And it turns out when looking on Amazon, there's a lot of cards out there that claim they are UHS-2, but they actually are not. So we're gonna go ahead and crack these open and compare them and do some benchmarks to see how both of these perform. First up, I've got the team group, and this is the uh, Extreme UHS-2. So let's go ahead and crack it open. And you can see on the back, this is how you can tell that it's a UHS-2 card. It'll focus. So there are two rows of pins on here versus if you look at a regular card, it just has the one row. Two rows, one row. Slow, fast. Now here is the Sony. Let's tear this one open. And again, the second row of pins. So between the team group and the Sony, which card are you planning on buying? Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Now to run these benchmarks, I'm going to use the Sony MRW TAC S1 because it claims it is as fast as your UHS-2 card is over USB 3.1. Let's go ahead and benchmark this. All right, so I have the team group card in there. It is a 128 gigs. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Also open up the task manager so we can see that run at the same time. Now this card, shows that it can run at speeds up to 250 megabytes per second reads and 120 megabytes per second writes. So it's already exceeding the read speed of 250 megabytes per second, not bits. There's eight bits to a byte. So as we can see here, the uh, benchmark finished and for the speeds, it's supposed to get up to 120 megabytes per second writes, and it's clocking in at 183 and 188 megabytes per second. Uh, that's more than what I paid for anyways with this team group. So let's go ahead and check out the Sony next. So I have the Sony card now put into the SD card reader. Now let's see how fast this guy goes. The Sony is rated for 270 megabytes per second reads and 120 megabytes per second writes. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull over. This is the test from the previous card so we can write them against each other. Okay, so the benchmark finished and here are the results. Wow, I actually didn't expect that. The uh, Sony is actually slower for the writes. So even though the Sony is a bit slower for the write speeds, which I didn't expect, especially since it has double the capacity as the team group one, I'm curious about the reliability between team group and Sony, which I will do a follow-up video on. So if you want to know which one holds up best over time, make sure that you're subscribed and have notifications turned on for when I release that video as well. And I'll catch you in the next one.